Okay, well, the last, uh, well, it's not the last project I gotta do, it's the last important one I gotta do. Still gotta fix a hydraulic line on the 1800, which ain't no big deal. Um, it's actually usable the way it is. It's the one that I blew while you're trying to put straw up in the barn, that return line off the power steering, but, um, need to get that done. I'm hopefully going to go tomorrow or Friday and pick my wheat seed up. So I got to get the drill over here and get it calibrated, which ain't no big deal. That's a hour or so job. Um, Get the wagon over here, get the weed in it. I've got the grain truck taken care of yesterday. Um, The change the oil serviced it and got the blower motor situation figured out if you remember it quit back when i was cutting wheat and i thought it was either the switch or the blower motor went bad which the blower motor wouldn't surprise me because it's chinese and because that's how you can freaking get now and probably the same thing with the switch because that came out lmc truck but uh turns out the plug just came unplugged from the back of the switch so that was a real easy fix um so the grain truck's ready to go. Both combines are pretty much ready to go. I got to get the 7300 down here and get those uh, snouts adjusted now that dad's home. And it's really just a little piddly nickel, nickel and dime shit, but uh, I got this fuel, fuel leak fixed on this thing. So um, I got all the T's. All right, yeah, them bastards are getting kind of salty but anything injection pump related right now is kind of salty because most of it comes from offshore because god forbid we build anything here anymore um so i'm going to i was just thinking i was going to pull a side panel off um i'm going to get this off and see what i got for room and see how bad i feel like fighting it because it's so much easier if you pop the side panel and the hood off but i if i feel like i got enough room i might just pop the side panel off so i'm gonna do that and we'll go from there there's the problem that thing's rock hard so um but uh i took obviously the side panel off took the heat shield off the back of the manifold and the uh turbo hose and that's actually not that bad i should be able to get in there fairly easily um obviously if you have a tractor where the heat shield's never been off the manifold although most of them are broke off and missing so it's generally not an issue but uh good luck getting them bolts out because it seems like when i did this one all the bolts were still stuck in it and there was just the little sheet metal nubbins from where the heat shield had been and i had to drill every one of them bolts out and retap the holes it was it was a good time but uh anyway pop them hose clamps and get the tees off there and Go from there. Okay, so I got everything off. Got all the parts I need to put it back together. Um, these are supposed to have... They slide down over the injector. And then right here, they're supposed to have one of those little... Like, single wire ring type spring clamps. If you know what I'm talking about. I don't have one here to show you. Well, I ordered some of those. And apparently, at least if you go through Agco now, that number crosses to these great big honking things and i don't like these i mean these are good clamps but the space you got to work in in there to put them on I'd, i'm i'm not fighting those bastards so i'm gonna put the regular hose clamps back on that i had on there if i'd have known that i'd ordered them just ordered them from mcmaster car because they got them they're just like i say they're just a little wire piece of spring wire and a you know hose clamp but that's what's supposed to be on there and then actually the the book does not even show clamps being on there but if you run them like that they don't like leak profusely but they're always wet so we put them clamps on there and they're always dry now so 
but it's easiest if you put or put everything together and then put these things on the injectors as a as a rail so we're gonna do that Clamp on first, dumbass. And the nice part is I got a paint mark because these those old tees were on the motor when we painted it, and that was uh, my senior year of high school, which was 12. Which means we actually we overhauled that motor the winter of 11 because I graduated in the spring of 12. So they've been on there for. 10 years actually they've been on there longer than that because we i put them on there they've been on there 11 years because we bought this thing in 10 i think was when we bought this and uh the original tees went right off the bat so 11, 11 years out of some rubber return tees is not bad. You can't really complain about that. Especially since for the first... Shit, it probably went four years. I'm trying to remember because... I didn't we didn't have the heat shield on it until we, until I plated the manifold and that got done after the engine overhaul. Actually shit, I might have I can't remember if I made a video of that. That would have been a long time ago. I can't remember if I made a video of pulling that manifold off and having it plated or not. And that's what you end up with. And then they just snap back on the top of the injectors. And unfortunately, there's no room to get the camera in there and everything else. So you just have to take my word for it and I'll show you when we're done. And we're all back together. Everything's tight. So I guess I'm gonna fire it up real quick, make sure we ain't got no leaky leaky. And then finish putting it back together. Turbo's open, but it should be fine. Yeah. quicker and a lot easier than I thought. I figured I'd have to pull the hood off because I honestly could not remember how much room you had back in there behind that manifold, but once you get the heat shield off, you got room for days. So that was pretty sweet. I don't think it only took me 
probably about an hour and 15 minutes to do it and that was with dinking around taking video and talking to dad in between so anyway i run this thing back down to the barn put the pipe back on it and probably call it good for today so i guess that's it for this one we'll catch you guys on the next one